So let's go about moving him. In our game world, we want to handle player input. So our coin duder can begin to explore his, his world. So the best place to handle some input is probably in the update function. So let's override our world's update function. Done. That feels better, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So let's handle some deuter input. Flashpunk comes with a couple classes, great for handling input. The first one being input, the second one being key. Surprise. Key handles keys, input does all the input stuff. So we're basically just going to do a simple if check. So first let's create a new variable for handling this input. var x input that's going to be an integer and var y input also an integer let's go ahead and set these both equal to zero as well now we're going to use these just to see what keys the players are pressing so we can easily move the duder so if input There we go. I want to make sure that the input class is included. And that class again is net.flashpunk.utils.input. If input.check, this checks to see if any key is held down. So let's let's check for pressing the left button. And you'll, you'll notice that I do this a lot. This is just to trigger the auto-complete in Flash Develop. Um, I pretend like I'm creating a new variable, but I'm lying. Um, and it will automatically import that stuff. So now we can go key dot left. So what this is doing is it's saying, was the left key held down during this update? If so, let's take our x input and subtract 1 from it. Because left in flash coordinates is negative on the x axis. Now, can a player push the left and right button at the same time? Yes. So we want to make sure not to use an else here. If key.right, we want to add 1 to our x input. Now the beauty of doing it like this is if the player presses both left and right, he goes nowhere, as expected. Let's also handle our up and down. Let's see here, this is our horizontal input. Now we're into our vertical input. It's gonna be key up. Key down. And again, with Flashpunk, it's super easy because all these keys are already laid out for you. So again, if we're pushing up, we want to subtract from our Y input. And if they're pushing down, we want to add to our Y input because that's how Flash is set up. And then we'll let the world's parent do whatever it does during update. So now we know if the player is pressing something, up, down, left, or right. So now let's translate that into actually moving our duder. So coin duder dot x, that's the x location of our coin duder. Let's set that equal to 100 times Here's another magic variable for you guys, fp.elapsed. That means how many seconds have 
elapsed since the last frame. So this is normally going to be a fraction unless you're really lagging. Uh, the beauty of this is, this is basically saying that he can move 100 pixels per second as the max speed. So 100 times FP elapsed times X input. Ah, now it's making sense, right? So if we're holding left, X input's going to be negative. So he's going to go negative 100. If he's holding right, it's going to go forward. So it'll be plus 100. And if they're holding both of them, he goes nowhere. I want to make sure that we add that to our coin tutor's X location. And now, coin y, same deal here. We're going to move him in the Y direction as well. Let's go ahead and try it out. Build's fine. Push left. Where, what? I mean, I push right. I, I put. I'm, I don't know the difference. Down. So look at this. We're moving our coin duder around. This is incredible. We've 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 done something amazing, guys. I'm I'm really liking this, but it, it seems like he's a little too slow. So let's go ahead and take this number. We're gonna refactor it with flash develop. I think extract a local variable. Nah, never mind. I don't know how to work that. So we're just gonna make a new a new variable here. Let's actually make it on the coin duder. So we have a public static constant called max speed. It's gonna be a number. And let's set it to be two hundred. So now in our game world, it's going to make a little more sense. Instead of 100, we're going to say coin duder dot max speed. Same here. Now I'm doing this in the world's update function. Uh, you can put it in the entity itself, um, and we'll probably mi migrate that code there later. But right now, this is the simplest way to get stuff going. Let's go ahead and try him out. Oh yeah, now he's really feeling that that feels like how a coin duder would feel if he was dooting around. So this is wonderful.